must not allow for mercy. Welcome on back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 13 of our legendary Krogar Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode we are here where we left off with Itzy Tepel, although I have given him, or I kicked out those uh, two laser cannon Bastilladons just because I did realize that these guys, if they do attack, there's no way we're going to be able to recruit them this turn. I don't mind giving, uh, going back to a square one with that recruitment if it means banking that gold so we don't lose it here uh, if we are to lose this battle. So what I've done is I've given him the Quatzalotus, so hopefully we don't we don't lose. Quatzalotus, the Pahawk Sentinels, and the Cohort of Sotek couldn't really afford anything else, so hopefully this is enough to hold the liner if they decide to face us. Let's find out. Everyone else is exactly in position where they were previously, except for I have had Rostral move on up in his encamp stance to uh, dare either Logan or Thorgar to come over and fight. We'll see what they have. If they have enough grudge settled units, we're, we're going to be in trouble, but if not, I think we should have no trouble sitting there and, and daring them to do something. Alright, so Iron Brows Expedition is now attacking the Golden Tower. It is a decisive defeat. It's going to be a really hard battle here. We do have the Holy Stella, which will be dropping base missile damage and accuracy by 25% uh, and 30. So really good for stopping these Grudge Settler flamethrowers from doing too much. The flamethrowers are going to be a huge issue. They close the gap, we're going to lose all of the guys. The shield of the old ones here for the big bubble of Nope. And then the Jungle Swarm for their big blob groups of Dali. Cool stuff. Let's go ahead and save our, uh, our damage bell as much as we can. Save our Temple Guard for the kind of final fight against even not Duroc, but his Thane. The Thanes have very high armor. Oh, he's got an armor. Wow, bonus versus infantry of how much? Five. Gross. Banner of Lost Holes and the Pig uh, Pigeon Plucker Pendant. Keep all of our flyers away from them. It'll be a tough fight. Let's see if we can hold the line. Kind of an interesting twist of fate. Uh, the sky, ho uh, sky cohort of uh, Hexawaddle, or uh, wh who is led by, I guess, Tic Tac Toe in this. They've got a different name over in, uh, in Immortal Empires. It's just Palakwa proper. Uh, but the Sky cohort has actually decided that their war with Thorek is no longer worth it, and they are going to allow us to handle it by ourselves, which is, is pretty typical of the AI. They started that fight, we joined them in that war, and they were like, yeah, maybe war isn't for us. So our strategy here. Or at least I was setting my guys up before I even started planning. Now we've got Grudge Throwers and a couple of units. They've even got their Slayers on this side. Two sets of Dwarf Warriors and the Iron Drake, so a pretty scary group. Let's start one so I know what I'm looking at here. Over here we've got a Thane, two Dwarf Warriors, and some Quarrelers, as well as their Troll Hammer Torpedoes, which are going to be a huge issue. We're going to have our Pterodons kind of rush together after those Troll Hammers, get rid of them as quickly as we can. The Dalby have so much leadership that they're likely going to fight that are in. Every single unit here, even these little trash tax warriors. So we do need to keep that in mind. I think as far as our kind of units, we have to control the key buildings here. So if we can uh, kind of bog the... They've got quarrelers on this side. That's unfortunate. Plus, the Lotus looks great, though, doesn't he? He's been distracted by all sorts of stuff. Squirrel! In this case, the squirrel's a giant flying rattlesnake. Covered in blades, similar to the ones from uh, uh, the Avengers. So this is probably much scarier than those four unfortunate bad guy worms. Jade Quattle, awesome too. Why is this not in the game already? Especially with uh, what came in with Oxyotl. Seems like that was a missed opportunity. We've got our two flyers, which are going to be our main beaters, especially against these artillery teams. That's where his, his reinforcements come in from. Alright. You're way too close to the camera there, Grandpa. Let's go you on this side. The waddle on the other. We're gonna try to hold up in kind of this general vicinity. Up to the top here. Because the flamethrowers will have a really hard time hitting our units, especially with all of these walls. But we don't really want to lose any of our our, our initial area, so let's go ahead and grab all of our, our source warriors. Our main damage, especially against the enemy Demon Slayers. Thanes are going to be an issue that are 
Gonna be mainly solved by our temple guard. Gotta deploy like Zeus. Excuse me. Like Zeus. They're gonna be a, a prime target for the uh, flyers. So we'll try to keep them near the beginning. Funny, there's one that doesn't have a shield away from the quarrelers, too. And fighting against the. Oh, he is a pain. Where is Sotek? Can we afford to leave you and get surrounded by warriors? I think the answer is kind of no. But I don't mind leaving them in the center to respond to anything like that. And they're, they're pretty quick, so I can probably rush them away if I, if I really need to. If not, we, we've lost an ROR. It'll be alright. Alright, so you guys... We're going to want to also keep them well away from the flamethrowers. We're going to kind of keep them over here. Watching for those pterodons to get a little bit closer. Gonna have you in the center. Then we've got our sword of spe uh, spears of shields. Let's let this unit hold the line here, but I guess on this uh, this position. Javelin's back, and we need to go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do for towers too. We're definitely gonna want a platform that way we can refill our javelin ammo. Let's go good old piercing tower here and on the other side too. Threatening these the guys come on in. Those will be taken out if we lose this key building in the center, so we will need to keep it very well protected. Solidities are many, many infantry. Let's only keep the spear guys in guard mode. We really do want them staying engaged in melee with Dawi as long as possible. Javelin boys, which I'm not even going to put in guard mode, and we'll like that. They're going to be excellent at hunting down slayers, too, with their, their missiles. Let's have some javelins here, and then these others kind of rotate around. Great. I don't think we need both skin cohort in the same spot, but I'll put these guys on this side. Trying to hide behind this monument. Spear boys, I'm going to put you on the other ramp. Right. Spooky as this is, I think we're as ready as we can be. Grab both of our flyers here and get ready to send them over after these artillery pieces. The artillery we cannot allow to stay alive for long. Send them in. Javelins, come on, come on back. Artillery, if you guys can pick off, or I guess towers, if you can pick off the uh, iron drakes, that'd be just glorious. That thing on this side, except for go after those quarrelers for me. You moving on forward, we've got, looks like, okay, they're going the other way, so we'll bring Sky Cohort this way. Run them down. We've already got our big, big explosion with the boy, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and rush up, grab the barricade platform here. Uh, Skink Cohort deploy. I think we do want to save our jungle swarm. Just annihilate these guys. If you can slow this group of there's nothing we can really do, is there? We can jungle swarm uh, one of these groups on their way up the hill here. I think this is the first one. Give them the business. Save our storm of Sri Lanka. Oh, good grief. Why you pay attention? Our ROR guys took a good bit of damage, but if we keep them moving, they should dodge pretty well. Come on, hunt them down. Grudge settlers are dealt with. Awesome. Let's come in here after these iron drakes now. Come on back. Let's have the javelins take a back position as well. Watch those quarrels. All right, come on this way. Reinforcements will be here soon, and as soon as they do, we'll drop in the Storm of Sri Lanka. Here they are. No slowdowns is a little bit unfortunate. There we are. Let's go ahead and just gonna actually let's save that because they'll be you have to come up the same position, won't they? Run them down. Get you guys back in the air because uh, fighting against uh, slayers is no fun for anyone. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put in the cheap and cheerful platforms here. I don't mind if they try to blow up this uh, tower. That works for me. 
Get over this way if you can there, lads. Could be annihilating his way through. I thought I asked you to get up and out of the, this position, so let's drop the... Uh, drop the goodies. As much as it hurts, we got to let that army get closer. Don't really need the extra spell resistance. You can go ahead and pull away from this. In fact, we can just go ahead and land here and blow up this whole blob. Or we can just blow up these iron drakes. Either one. What on earth? Why aren't you catching them? Oh, they're on skirmish mode. That's what got them killed. Now we got played a little bit there. Keep checking those javelins where you can. You guys move through quickly. Catch them. Coral should have a hard time hitting you. Now we got played there for sure. Watts well, Lotus drop the impact of uh, Jixalub and let's get you out of there. Them another charge. Four warriors is all they are. Get our javelins up top. Come on, deal with them. You guys come after these quarrels. Get some vengeance. You finally got an esc away from there, which is perfect. Didn't actually manage to get that much damage with the uh, the explosion, which is a little bit concerning. Keep weakening these two groups. In fact, smash into these war warriors if you can. All right, lost the tower. You sit there and blasted it with flamethrowers. Make sure these gyrocopters are gone. You guys get back in the sky for me. Still in melee with you, just shouldn't be. Fall back. You as well. In fact, we'll go for the Holy Stella here on uh, these units so we don't lose any of the Quats of Lotus or anything. Fall back. Towers keep tearing apart these Iron Drakes for me. Yep, that's exactly what happens if you uh, if you stop. Oh, some of them are still in melee, aren't they? Oh, that's cheeky. Who the heck is capturing this? That's the sneaky thing. My center is down. Alright, not great, not great. That key building is likely to go. Although, if we can deal with these two units at the same time, I'm here for it. Saving this sanctum for when they start coming up the hill here. Damage. Mash on through. In fact, there's so many guys coming up this hill. Let's go ahead and just blast it on down. You guys are back. I don't know why we're not just charging into melee. Taking our, our sweet time there. I should get a couple of them off their feet. Take them down, take them down. They're all in one spot. Take fools, drop the snakes. Drop the melee attack and then fall back. Alright, Quats Lotus drop the explosion. Working together, they should deal with these corners pretty effectively. We did, well, we lost that, that middle zone with the quickness, didn't we? Deal with the flamethrowers. They're kind of strangely frilly animations, make them uh, a bit less effective. You guys, go ahead and fall on back, skinks. All right, so we need need you to fall back. Lower that damage one more time. Holy Stella here is not super useful, so let's keep going. They lost. I didn't expect that at all. Stick in there. We need our general to remain. Now, what I didn't expect was them to, them to lose to the quarrels. That's an easy fight for this group. We need these iron drakes gone. 
Catch those slayers for me. Get ready with the old javelins. Watch the Lotus get these quarrels. You get the other group. Actually, you get the, uh, the weakened and broken. Uh... Thank you kindly. We've got the big explosion, so we'll try to keep that safe. Really? Chasing them off. We we should be able to outpace them, so we can get all the way around if we really want to. Alright, we've got none of the towers here, so let's go ahead and start popping in the tier 2 ones. Alright, for some reason you're not attacking unit I asked you to, which is a good way to die. Their quarrelers are kind of splitting up. I'm going to make dealing with them actually pretty difficult. Dance down here. Keep chucking those javelins where you can. If the more they blob up, the more I can deal with them. They're just trying to capture all our zones, though. I'm gonna bring these skinks out beyond the uh, settlements. Exterior here. Javelin boys, go ahead and pop up. Rocker, please. Yeah, this is lots of unfortunate areas we've got here. So let's go ahead and drop the snakes in on all of these units here. Try to javelin this poor boy. Catch these iron drakes for me. Oh, that was actually the perfect play. Let's see if we can't get them back in. I didn't take it back. The Iron Drake's gonna catch them, aren't they? We'll see. I don't mind finding out the hard way. Temple Guard. Nope. Forest Warriors, get in there. Lots of Lotus, let's get you moving. I mean, we dealt with a lot of their units, but man, they, they still have plenty of Quarlers left. Base weapon damage, I don't mind that. Although these guys are about to get torched. Close that gap quick. Alright, let's break this first of the Source Warriors. We're sending our own guys down. Simple Guard, you go ahead and make your presence felt as well. Those are Iron Drakes, so you can come up and deal with them for me. Wants a Lotus, everyone's gonna start firing on you, so it's gonna stay back. So we're ready to move in. Smashing through these long beards, they've got a lot of leadership to break down. Every single uh, quarrel is targeting our Quants Lotus. Because they're cowards. Now let's go ahead and make them less accurate. Give the big bubble a nope here. Our lord got caught by two. Man, they snuck both those guys in, didn't they? He's, he's doomed. He was a big bubble a nope. Cross Lotus, go ahead and blow up this group. Alright, sweet. Problem with the Dawi is those guys are gonna keep fighting. So they'll be ready to keep firing their uh, their quarrels as soon as they recover from that initial attack there. No good at all. Let's get you away. Like, there's like five quarrelers here. Yes, there's 19, but they should not be willing to keep fighting. And yeah, there's the Thunderers and such. See if we can't get you away there, Quads of Lotus, otherwise you're going to get destroyed. Come back in and take down the Thane. Whom they are just aggressively trying to push through our lines with. What do you think? Is it still didn't scare them off? They're just wavering. Let's get on over here so we can get another uh, nuclear drop. Waddle, come on around. Yokai! 
weaken that melee attack for everyone here. Come on out, because there's a Thane and a Demon Slayer trying to get you. Go after this Demon Slayer here. Weaken that melee attack and everything as soon as you get into the fight. Perfect. Lots of Lotus. Where are you going, my friend? Let's have you smash these Dwarf Warriors here. Blast them apart a little bit so they're not escaping. I've got the Holy Stella again. Let's go ahead and use it. Probably we just need it for the Thunderers, don't we? You fall back once more, pull through our lines. What's a Lotus? How are you doing? Do you miss? That's my favorite. Come on around, let's smash into these Dwarf Warriors. Wiggle them up. Alright, cool. Those flamethrowers are gonna cook our ranks. That's a little bit ridiculous. Watch Lotus go stop that, or one of you go stop that. Right, so one of the one of the dwarfs is gone. Let's go ahead and hit the one that is not um, going to be giving any bonus. Be large. Drop down the big bubble of nope. Weaken their aim. Obliterate those flames. Like, you guys, they, they stop attacking halfway through it, and that's what gets them killed. Alright, more and more of our units are running for the hills. Is dwarf leadership gonna... Yeah, it probably is gonna avail them here. Over that attack to nothing. Keep smacking Brangy. Throw no waste units on stuff that doesn't matter. Quats of Lotus. We need your big booms. I'm not sure why the Saurus are so scared. They should be just fine, truthfully. Demon Slayer, just freaking him out. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure why you're fighting the Thane either. Get away from him. Saurus Mace, you guys go after this Thane. Here, lads, if you can come on over and help. That'd be just great. Alright, Quads of Lotus. We can get you just right here. I think the uh, the detonation will be game ending for the Dawi. Most of their infantry are here, so that's where we'll put it. They're trying to push through. There we go. Skadoosh. That deletes the rest of those Dawi warriors. We come in after the Quarrel teams. Actually, they've got Thunderers over there, don't they? We're gonna dodge that as much as possible. Oh, our Lord left. Well, that's not good. Gonna consider most of these guys we're fighting here uh, completely unbreakable. Curse the Dolly and their leadership, man. Because we had them otherwise. And look at all the units they have left. Like three dudes in them. Some of our leadership is recovering, but just barely. Did we get run these uh these Thunderer teams down? Sources. Fifteen longbeards. This is they're unbreakable. Which none of those Dobby units are supposed to be unbreakable, so I'm guessing the, the Lord's helping them out quite a bit. Alright, catch him. If we lose everyone here, we're we're pretty done. But fall back, just kidding. Your, none of your boys are willing to fight. I think your lizards just have pretty good leadership, too. Guess not. Get a lot coming back on in. Go ahead and blow up these Thunderers. Come on, just hit him up. Why? No! Soros warriors are leaving. Temple Guard is surrounded. Oh, our lord's gone too. Look at that. 
Oh, unfortunate. Let's see if we can't have the Quads and Lotus come up here and deal with Duroc Iron Will, because at that point we should have, hopefully, have them from army losses and leadership both. Can't have our, our leader get taken out here, otherwise we're, we're done. You like the RDR. Man, that's so unfortunate. Defeated by just barely superior leadership. Okay, Quads and Lotus, you should have no problem staying and fighting, but I guess I guess we're gonna lose with the, the leadership. That is the way. Oh, no good attack rolls either. How unfortunate, he gets all the good ones, doesn't he? He just starts annihilating the Quads and Lotus. Now the enemy lord's gone, but can we now deal with this Thane? Keeping our own heroes intact. We've still got plenty of Dawi warriors down here. Any other faction would have already left long ago. We can blow up a couple of these guys here if we're lucky. Drop on these iron drakes. And then drop the boom right here too. Then just go ahead and pull back so you don't take too much damage. And dealt with the Iron Drake, see if we can't get this uh, this thing. Probably great weapons. Go snake the settlement, aren't they? Everyone fire on them. Those miners are uh, smoothing. Or a really good hit. Go ahead, give him another one. Give him another oh, or just or just miss repeatedly. That works too. Well they captured that zone in like 2.4 seconds, so there yeah, we we've lost it here. Damn. Forget Dawi. We? We'll zoom that along. We tried, but as soon as they capture it, that is that is all. We lose it from there. Well, fought for the last man, a 30 minute uh, beginning battle. How about that? I think we would have grabbed the uh, Kowaddle of Lyav, uh, Death, that is. We probably could have maybe turned that one around because the Thanes and the two uh, uh, Demon Slayers would have gotten nearly the kills they did. And trust me, these Demon Slayers, I wish mine were this tanky when I was playing with Dobby. They, If I charged them in like the way they did, they just get obliterated, even by smaller things like Clan Rats. So uh, good on you for having the most elite Demon Slayers around. <laughs> Right now, some Druki trespassers. So well, these ones we will intervene because it'll be an easy one to deal with. So we'll deal with you. He has failed to spot our ambush. How glorious! We have very few casualties, though, didn't we? We're replenished there. Golden Tower lost. Wait, did I say capital lost? That's our capital. Why? I mean, it doesn't seem to be giving us any negatives. We're corrupted by Zinch because we've been in province with too much Zinch corruption, even though we've been beating the brakes off of them the whole way. Eh, fair enough. The world's natural resources are a gift from the old ones, the benefits of their race. Let's come on in and give ourselves a new technology. I think we're going to go for the good old uh, determining the old ones meanings, fix up our control, and unlock some of the more elite uh, research as well. That is so lame. All right, so we will... We'll likely have to deal with the Dawi jumping around kind of like the Skaven and going after Sotex Trail. That which has no defenses, that's likely where they're going next. Well, that means we're going to get aggressive here with Rostral. We're going to take our settlements, I'll take yours back. Likely sitting here in the Doomglade. Rosetra. Prepare to belong to the Lizards. Why do I th think you're going to be mean to us here? This is an open field battle. This should be a very easy stomping for our guys. Let's let's find out how badly they do. And not too bad at all. Uh, we will go for the loot knock fly. 
Roll Sprawl has himself a Carnosaurus, but he's a very dangerous uh, lad indeed. And now we've got the short victory finished here for Grotgar. Glory to you, glory for us, the war will go on forever. Victory for the short variety. That'll give us more hero capacity for all of our heroes of plus three. Which we've got some pretty terrifying heroes here. With this, especially with the Kawadal Protectors. Spawn, Blessings of the Priests. I think we're just going to go for Replenishment. Our box of convoy will give you, my good sir. A meticulous is probably good for your next uh, trip on out, so we'll go for Unseen Protector here. Training for our Scarvet. Replenishment for our Chief. And then for you, our Skate Growler will just give you better control. Or you invade over there with uh, the Jade Court. Speaking of, for our long victory, what are we what are we up to here? We need to deal with the Exiles of Corn, Clan Moors, and the Box Makers of Nurgle. And then we need to secure all of uh, the Southern Jungles. All right, I think that's what we'll go for here for this campaign. Then we'll just we'll go for the long campaign victory. Domination just gets a little bit, a little get a little bit monotonous after some time. All right, well, no upgrades to be had over here just yet. Kryptonoth is going up quite slowly. But it is taking on up. The fact that they can just jump through the mountains at any time and attack pretty much any of these settlements is uh, one of the lamest things about fighting the Dawi. All right, well, let's get the Corral Arena in Yotiqua. Uh, Temple Avenue of Gold, we definitely need the walls since it's on the front lines now. It wasn't previously. Floating Gardens and the Geomantic Spire here, too. Keep up upgrading that web. My cat Gar. I was bringing him through friendly territory this way, but it's now that we've uh, lost the Golden Tower, I was a little bit confident we could hold it. We'll need to go back around. Oh, hello, Abyssa. Figured you were coming over here soon. It's going to be an elite. It's going to be an elite army for the first one, but after that, it'll be nice and easy. So my plan now here for the south, uh, I think Southern Chaos Ways is going to be to give all of these provinces over to Oxyadl, simply because most of the lizard men, for some reason, are really mad at us for our confederation of uh, Hexawaddle. So to kind of turn things around us, we're not going to deal with a kind of civil war with the uh, lizards. Let's give Oxia next time you see me, you die. See what I'm saying? We don't need a civil war with the lizards. I'll give you Fate Reavers Cross. You calm down. You know what? I'll just get the non-aggression pack naturally. You give me your money. Our minds are bound by duty. They indeed are. We'll be friends, Oxyadol. Don't you worry. We need to kind of... We might need to take to the seas. Abyss is easily going to take the Lost Palace, but we can... Pretty easily take her down next. The nasty chicken people have been subjugated, though. We'll go ahead and upgrade Taurus Serpentar as well. Thankfully, with Slanesh, you just have to worry about them stealing your units. Not, not so much uh, teleporting up and getting an easy ambush. Here, it's so text trails. Anything just increases how much gold we're making in the province. Trying to the old ones, yes. Give us the skink priest. 12% more income. I think that's probably going to be the way then. Uh, the shrine of the old ones. Get us some more skink priests and upkeep. Or just more income. We like the income. Red. Feel our gold mines. Okay, over in Lustria, where Mazdamundi is preparing for an invasion of Pahwax. You might just need to do the invasion back in, uh, back in Swamp Town. I love that we are also held back by the, the jungles. Ooh, crane guns and firing rockets. Let's post you up here. And Mazda Mundizzle will have you go back towards the Monument of the Moon, I believe. Pull back to the Monument of the Moon. You can come on down here and get the shipwreck, come over to Swamp Town, and then come through to Shrine of Sotek to threaten the Isle of the Crimson Skull. Is the strategy I'd like to go for. 
That means our upgrades, if anything, we need to go for uh, probably at Skeggy. That's a temple port, sounds good. Pop that on in. Our income, or our, our economy is going to start looking very good soon. Uh, with Abyssa, we can also just go ahead and give the Lost Palace over to Oxyodl. Hey, bud. I've got one more for you. We march and kill for Sotek. Join us. I shall indeed. Wisdom of the First Spawning. The Ghosts of Ahwaks like us quite a bit after us giving over all of our settlements. I love that uh, all that work we spent with the Sky Cohort has been reduced just by using the Geomantic Spire to confederate with Hexawaddle. Just wanted Mazda Mundi on our team. I don't know what the problem is. Take a look at our sacrifices. All of the basic ones look to be already activated, which is sweet. Aren't really using very many skinks and stalkers, so that's not really very useful for us. The body's sanctum is apparently good at dealing with artillery teams. Probably just grouped up groups of Dawi. Fire resistance can be nice, but only against those flamethrowers. We we killed most of those in that battle. All right, nothing really to do here for on the sacrifice. We're just gonna save for now. See how the uh, the goodies play out. Oh, that group of wood elves is still here now. How could oh, perfect. I? They go hunt down Mount Mount Arachnos. Oh, burn. All right, a wetlands a shortcut. Giant isopods forces to travel the long way around the wetlands. A series of mirrors could bounce light and mark safe paths through the fog and scare predators. Should we wish to invest in a shortcut? I don't think we do. Leave no trace. Oh my god, is now ready for duty once more. I love, I love the uh, the complete cowardice of the enemy. No they build up a giant force, and instead of coming to face us directly, they're going to go blow up the Sopra Serpent Coast, which is our, our weakest settlement. Just a bizarre way of playing. Now we've got the portent of uh, Scotly. Order of Strength, the old one to Scotly, does not perceive this portent solely as raw vigor, but recognizes economic strength as well. That's why we need to take some battle captives. <laughs> Come across and hit Doomglade. No, movement speed seems to be, or movement in general, seems to kind of be a big weakness for, for the Lizardmen. Yeah, the choice is we lose this smaller settlement, or we we do nothing at all, but maybe we can move up into the Granite Massif. It looks like likely this army will come fight us. It is giving them Thunderers and Iron Drakes, so let's move in and crump this. Fighting the Dawi when they're playing like Skaven is a little bit, a little bit tough. Let's get us another Lord in. They're they're not going to attack our major settlements. They're just going to go for the smaller ones. Let's put in another Lord here. Uh, let's go for. Saurus will be the cheapest army for us to upkeep, so we'll go for another Saurus. Snag one that is fleet footed. That 15% less upkeep is really what we need right now. Then we'll go ahead and hatch us some new friends. Get a good line of. Wow, it's expensive. Saurus are so expensive. But still, we do need a line of Saurus, so that's what we're going to do. Javelins for dealing with layers is pretty useful. Warrior, more melee attack. I think we do want to just go for our disciplinarian. Not worry about him being super tough. We'll just go up for the blue line as quickly as we can. Major cutting for more ambush success chance. Keep control up here as high as possible. That way we can see as far as possible, too. Dowie. Alright, well. What is your plan? What is your deal? Why do you keep trespassing? And yeah, we keep deteriorating, but thankfully we, we are lizards, but it doesn't seem to matter. That Brotherhood of the Lizard is easily broken. So they decided to come through. Abyssa did. 
You have some exalted demon heads. It's gonna be a fun battle. By fun, I mean horrifying. Well, let's come to about here. That way, even if they do decide to run, I'm not going to leave Krogar here to subjugate all the demons of the south. That's Oxyadol's job, so we'll let we'll let him continue that one. Oh, no bunnies. And the problem is they could steal my if they steal the CB mentioned, we are doomed. In one fell swoop, we're doomed. I kinda wanna put you in instead of the instead of the Carconics that they could steal. Let's go ahead and kick the Carconics out. Doxa, you come on in because there's there's no bribing heroes, so you can bring him on in and uh, hopefully find some weapons to equip him with. Just a just a spell shield. Glorious. It is what it is. Crawl straw, my friend. I think the play for you is just do more damage to the Dawi. They want to make that trade, I'll make that trade. And we'll go ahead and take this Totem of Prophecy. It already causes fear instead of a couple of others. Let's go for... Gotta find someone who doesn't cause fear naturally. One of our middle lines of source. That work out. Rump those Dawi. Rump those Dawi. Sort of anti heroes and an artifact hunter. That's pretty dang fantastic. And then steal from the Dawi. We'll be doing no repairing because if we lose any of this, I'm not going to worry about it so much. Now, the other thing we'll do is come on down to this hero we just added in with Grogar. Give him that sword of anti heroes, which will be so good at hunting down uh, one of these uh, Slanesh heroes. Mazda Mundizzle. Probably afford recruiting you in a few Parasaur Rider teams. Maybe two of them to go out front of the Jehalox. We have no front line with him, which is bizarre. And nothing we can recruit for front line through the Regiments of Renown either. Just big beasties. Okay, so Mazda Mundi, um, we will just give you two Parasaur Rider teams and then. That's it for now. That's a skink chief. I'm not going to be able to uh, micro two spellcasters at once. Let's go ahead and get whatever's going on here. We'll explore this island. Easy decisive win against Katrina Drury. Go Sun Standard of Chotek on. Ooh. That's a tough call, isn't it? Probably here, missile resistance here, and then just put more uh, leadership on our stalker. Sure, take the win, the experience. Monday, the competent protector, and eight thousand treasury for our defeat of the vampires. Glorious stuff. So, Muslim money. I'm not gonna worry about you recruiting for this turn. I'm gonna have you come on down and keep an eye. We'll just zoom through the sea. Hit this one and then go to the Serpent Town. Or the Swamp Town, that is. No Serpent Town yet. Let's upgrade this Geomantic Locus. One of this Skeggy is going to be the main source of the Geomantic power over here in Lustria right now. Let me zoom back over to our main provinces where I'd like to do most of our upgrades. We just have to wait for a turn. Serpent Coast is about to be attacked. Go a little bit further south. Dawn's light, we can upgrade the stone marker. It's not that useful. Pull up the province tab again. Here at Skeggy, we'll do the same thing with this stone marker, and then in Skeggy proper. We can probably just go for this land mage priest faction wide. Yeah, the store chamber just keep buffing them up and giving us more income. Seems pretty dang solid. So every time you do bring in a new toad mage priest, you just can be that much more powerful. And raw straw, all source old blood. Good sir. Give you renown and fear for that maximum upkeep reduction and movement range. Please Khan will give you. Act leader's pretty dang good. Let's go for a reinforced Obsonite. 
for more damage and bonus be large. Really cleave our way through the dwarves on this other side. I'm really sad we had to lose our, our Quats of Lotus like that. We'll have to get another one through another uh, adversary event if we can even get one. Alright, Scarvet. Let's we'll start working on your your melee tree still, so let's go Enforcer of Order for more damage. I believe you're just able to do damage to things, so hindering replenishment's not that useful. Assassinate King Sun. Oh no, what happened? He tripped and fell off a cliff. This bluster is a slippery and dangerous place. Blue piercing shots for you when you're back in an army. Actually, since you're not in an army, why do we have you on any kind of mount that costs money? No mount for you, good sir. Drop his upkeep back to what it should be. We'll have you keep an eye on between these three settlements here. It should work out pretty gloriously. Upgrades ahoy, and let's see what kind of damage the Dobby do here next turn. Damage buildings, everyone's moved as far as they can, correct? Sweet business. See how things play out. Warm bloods agitate. We should work as one. He wants to trade, he agrees. We offer assistance to our noble spawn. You're willing to offer me more gold, but I won't I won't haggle with you right now. Alright, in March the Dawi. And we stand no chance here. Look at all these runes. Alright, clowns. Alright, now we've got some more lost workers. I think we could use the extra proc score, all things considered. Actually, you know what? We could we could actually use the front line that's cheap and cheerful and uh, not very... We don't worry about them so much, so welcome artisans. Ooh, and we've had our minds muddled, so this army is not moving. Look at them working together. Is this Ross Roll? No, thankfully. Genie is now ready for duty. Lord Ixulub is as well. We need to eliminate Abyssa. So we shall. Look at them, though, try to run through and go after some of our other settlements. They're playing like Skaven, and I'm not here for it. That's just, it's not fun. They go, they avoid your armies at all costs. You have no big clashes out on the out on the plains, which is really lame. This army here has just been sitting up and probably recruiting through global. We need to hurry. Yar, let's run to caverns and Sotex. Let's get go too much further than that and going further than that. Trying to go into March is kind of just a foolish idea. Look at Abyssa. Oh, good grief. Scared, but not for not pretty good reason. You don't have any flyers, do you? May touch me only yeah, missing out on your flyers is bad. Fair to die. Doesn't have the gold to steal the units. We have ourselves a battle against a Slamesh. One final fight here for this episode. To the field. I am going to go ahead and quick save those so we don't have any issues with the uh, crashes. We did lose it during one of those last battles that I had to come on back and fight through. Anyway, Abyssa? Prepare to be eviscerated. Alright, here comes Slanesh. Probably more ways than one. Let's go ahead and start deployment. We'll set up on the side of this rock here. That way we have a nice plank to force them through. Uh, so the plan is going to be Spears to Blessed Saurus and Spears. Kind of like so, and we do want to actually get a, uh, a charge on them as well. We'll keep our Saurus line unbroken. We'll have the final group of reinforcement bases here in the center, I believe. We will have some spells to contend with. I think Krogar charging in. 
doing just some good disruption. Man, they are going very wide with those spears. Which is there. We have flyers, though, which they can't do anything about. We're gonna send these Manticuta in. Since they have magical attacks, probably just to deal with the enemy lord. We have our own cavalry hiding and waiting for the attack order. Get me Boro. We'll have them back here since they're so incredibly deadly. Good old turtle guns. Other character off, which I'm going to have up front. They are immune to flanking, which makes the devastating flanker completely worthless. I think they are. Okay, no, they aren't, but... Was it the Bastilladon only? That does make sense. Charge Reflection is still pretty useful. We'll have you be off on the side just in case, because no Charge Reflection is not useful. Alright, from there we need our Juradon with its lovely auto cannon. Yeah, it also doesn't have any kind of uh, extra goodies in terms of charge bonus and things. I actually think that the crane gun versions of the Jiropin is kind of a miss kind of a misleading unit. You don't want to use these guys as tanks, you want to use them as kind of aggressive. Maybe not aggressive, but anti probably anti other crane gunners or anti missile units because they have so much armor. They don't have any shields or anything, so they, they do struggle. Jiropin guns are kind of a strange one. I think they're balanced pretty nicely. They're hard to use, they're balanced nicely, that's how it works. Take it on up front with that engine of the gods, and then you can be a lovely defender as well. I think this is going to be a fun battle. So I can manage to actually micro everything. Units is one. Saurus is one, too, and I will want them... I will want them locked, that way we can re re uh, reverse charge the enemy, or counter charge the enemy, that is. Artillery beasties and the man Peter riders. Let's get it going. You guys come over here and start dealing with Abyssa. I'm gonna have Croc Garby kind of just a block. Hand of the Gods will be perfect as swatting. Exalted Demonettes, any of those we take down are gonna be perfect. What spells do you have? If you can make us a rampage, we're in trouble, but I don't think you do. No, you do have the Vein, though, so we'll, we'll take damage back. That's the direct damage spells. Rock car. All right, that's I mean that's working out. Get a Manticuta. You can't hide. They're magical icy spears and just annihilating the enemy lord. I mean that's that's what you want to see there. Where are you going? I don't know. See the Manticuta like you. There is no escape. She's disintegrating on away. We'll have you now deal with this lord. Since the rest of them are completely confused. Ooh, snakes. Let's see how much damage they get. How do you all feel about the sensation of snake bites? I was to say, they don't care that much. This group of exalted demon at Sears surely does. Alright, well, that's another unit gone. You guys can focus together on this other spellcasting lord. Here they come. I heard getting attacked. We have to step into step into the line of my Juradon. That seems to be safe. Brother, you shot at the ones in the trees. What is wrong with you? Blow up these demonettes here. All right, that's another Lord gone. I will have you kind of pick off the groups of us, uh, Slanesh then that are coming across. Please and thank you. Oh no, they charged Croc. Well, they got like, more damage than I would have probably wanted on Croc Gar. Pull back, my friend. A bit closer. We do have all these spells we can use, including the burning alignment. Each of a thing or two. Alright, laser beam, do your thing. Thoris, charge in there. Croc Gar. Gonna stay close if you can. Whoops. Get those exalted demonettes. Sky lasers doing their thing. Everyone else charge. Oh, 
smash this unit. You guys come a little bit closer, because it looks like they're getting some demonites close to our line. Yummy Boro. Ooh, those... What on earth? Exalted demonites annihilated these Sora Spears. And I expected damage. I didn't expect that kind of damage. Rocks from space. Oh, man, Kido, we need you now more than ever. Give them some more snaky sensations. Well, I mean, that got spooky. Good grief. Juradon, go charge these clowns. We have plenty of demons dealt with on this side. Got me Boro Riders, my friends. Come help. Just drop that armor even further here. There we go. Man, these poor Sora's shields got obliterated, but everyone else did pretty well. Alright, excellent. Well, we'll do what we can to run down the rest of these poor unfortunate Slanechi souls, and I will get you in a moment. Alright, we'll come back to the glorious sounds of the, uh, the Mon Gear Company arriving. Alright, so 100, uh, 321 captains claimed in that fight. How amazing. Our poor Soros uh, there got obliterated without one charge. 60 kills in a single charge. Silly. I guess they gave them uh, the, uh, somehow they got access to that uh, devastating flanker, even though I don't know if they should have. Then we'll take the extra gold. Purify them. Eliminate any lord in battle, giving us the banner of swiftness and a thousand treasury. Oh, we've also got the Staff of the Lost Sun. Oh, how amazing. Range damage and it blinds someone. Cool. All right, we've got a cold one game. You can probably hear the lovely uh, lawnmowers going on by in the background. Let's just deal with Skull Screamer. The main fondler. How unfortunate. Fondle. Keys. Let's shoot that group, and we are probably good. Now, are we trespassing on? Is that what's happening? Are we, are we trespassing? Dang it, we gotta leave. Hey, quickly. Oh, are you joking? Alright, we can probably get out to sea. Or we can stop trespassing through the lands that we just gave on over to him. Backstabbed us a little bit there, but I think it'll be alright. He should be able to take care of that minor faction. No problem. Alright, and with that, that's gonna be all the time I have got for today. Thank you all so much for coming by today's Krokgar episode. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like for the like god and a sub for the sub throne, and I'll see you all in the next one.